Hey friends, so welcome to my very first review for the chili tuna that we have for 2019. Um, I'm pretty excited to be doing this video. Been wanting to do it for a while. Um, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be eating each of the cans of the chili tuna that we have here, reviewing them on the taste, the smell, the texture, the value for money, and then I'm going to pick my favorite one. And I haven't actually tried all of these yet, so I'm hoping to see what the results are. We have the Green Seas Chili Tuna, the Coles Chili Tuna, the Woolworths Chili Tuna, this one's Yellowfin, which isn't actually tuna. We also have another Coles one, Chili Tuna. We have a Serena Chili Tuna. We also have a John West Chili Tuna and a Wild Tides Chili Tuna. And what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be eating each can, reviewing it, and then giving a score out of 10 tunas. So 10 tuna is the highest rating a tuna can can receive, and zero tuna is the lowest. Let's start off with the, the Green Seas one. Um, I haven't actually tried this one in a long time. The last time I did try it, I didn't like it that much, but we'll see how we go today. Okay, so to start off with, I don't really like the smell. We do have um, a bean of chili inside of it. And I'll just, the way I'm gonna eat it is I'm going to smash the chili like this. The chili, the chili is quite big. So white people be careful because you might find this a bit spicy. I'm going to give it a bit of a mix. Okay, so to start off the review, I think the green seeds one, it's, it's not too mushy and it's not too firm. It seems just about right. I'm giving it a mix at the moment. I'm going to see how spicy it is and I'm going to see how it tastes real soon. It's got a little bit of oil there. The best way to eat tuna is the oil, you don't want to drain the oil. You want to mash the tuna up until all of the tuna has been absorbed by the oil. So, I don't actually find the green seeds that, that spicy. But I don't really like the taste. I think that the tuna is is kind of um, kind of chewy to eat. It doesn't really have much flavour, and there weren't that many seeds of chili. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this one now. It's a little bit dry, to be honest. I don't think that there was enough oil or water in here for the tuna to absorb all of it, which isn't that great. Mind you, full cost, these, these cans cost about $2 in store. Um, I'm gonna give this probably a two out of 10. Things that they could work on are uh, pretty much the taste. I like how it's got a chili in it. Um, but I really, really do not like the taste of this one. Okay. Next up, we have the yellowfin tuna. Um, fun fact, yellowfin is actually a different type of fish to actual tuna. But it's got the word tuna in it. So we'll see how this one goes. Okay, so to start off with, we got the chili bean inside of here and the, uh, the, the tuna is actually kind of uh, yellow in colour. I guess that's why they call it yellow fin. If you, can see, if you can see the oil, it's actually quite yellow. So we'll go ahead, mash up the bean.
Okay, so this one's a bit different to the green seas one. It's so far I haven't tasted it, but the the, the tuna is all in one piece. Um, it's quite hard to mash up, so I'm just getting my fork in there and giving it a twist, trying to break up the pieces of meat and letting the uh, the oil absorb, uh, letting the tuna absorb all of the oil. This yellowfin tuna also has a four star, four star health rating, so it's quite healthy for you. One thing you want to be careful about when eating tuna is eating too many cans, because tuna is quite high in the food chain compared to some other marine fish, and the higher up in the food chain the fish are, the more mercury they have inside of them, and you can actually get mercury poisoning from eating too much tuna. This one's actually taken quite a while to mash up to get um, all of the oil inside of each tuna piece. As for texture so far, I really like the way that it gets mashed up inside of the tuna. I really like the way that it gets mashed up. Okay, this one's quite nice. This one also is about $2 in store. I think I got this one for $1.95. I really like the texture of this one. It's, it's quite smooth. It's really easy to eat. The only downfall I don't like about it is um, mashing up the tuna takes quite a while. So if you're on the go and you want a really quick snack to eat, I probably wouldn't recommend this can of tuna to eat. I'll probably go with something uh, maybe a bit mushier, that's a bit easier to digest if you don't have the time to uh, mash this one up. As for taste, um, there's almost no spice. Yeah, so just ate some of the chili in this one and there's absolutely no spice to it. So, all of you people who don't like spicy food might like this one. Um, I'd probably, I'd go out and buy this one again, especially if it's on sale and I don't have anything to eat and I have a lot of time on my hands. I'd probably rate this one a six and a half or seven out of 10. Um, this one was really good. So I'll be putting this one aside and trying the next one. Okay, so next one we're gonna try is the Woolworths Chili Tuna. This one's not yellow fin, it's just regular. Go ahead and open it. So, from first inspection, we don't see any um, any chilies, any whole chilies in here. We just see chili pieces, and it looks like the mashing up has already been done for us. This tuna was ninety five cents, so if it tastes good, I would say it's pretty good value for money. It's about half the price as all of the other tunas that we've tried so far. So far, for smell, there's no fishy smell coming from it, so I would rate that as a plus as well. Hmm. This one also comes with a 4 health star rating, so it actually is quite healthy for you too. So after tasting this one, I don't feel like there's much spice to it. It's really smooth, quite easy to digest, kind of like the yellow fin tuna when we mashed it up. And uh, yeah, overall I do think that there is a bit too much oil inside of it. So I gave it a really good mix beforehand, but as you can see, there's some oil and the tuna's kind of saturated in there. Um, so I wouldn't say it's a very good oil to tuna ratio. But I guess that's what happens um, when you pay for a cheap lower price of tuna. Okay, so I quite like this one. It doesn't have a very fishy taste to it. Um, it does have a little bit too much oil. Um, I'll probably rate it. It does taste a bit different to the yellowfin tuna, where the yellowfin tuna is more of a bland kind of tasting taste. This one is a bit bland as well. There's not too much flavor. Actually, it just tastes like chili tuna to me. Um, I'd probably rate this one a, a eight. And the reason why I'm rating it so high is because um, of the value for money that you get from it. It's only 95 cents in store. Okay, so the next tuna we're going to be tasting is Wild Tides, and I haven't actually tasted this one before. I think it's quite new. 
um, you can get it from Kohl's, you don't get it from Woolworths. Uh, Wild Tides is a Kohl's brand, um, and as you can see, it comes with a three health star rating, so it's not as healthy as the other two. Okay, so from, from first inspection, it looks like that we have a bean of chili here, so that's quite good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a mash up and then mix this one around first as well because I don't think the tuna flakes are as mushy as what was in the Coles one, in, as what was in the Woolworths one. So this tuna here was also about $2 at, in the store at Coles. I got this tuna on sale though, so it only cost me $1 from 50% off. I like how easy this tuna is to mix around and mash up. As you can see, all of the oil is being absorbed by the tuna. This one is however taking quite a while to mix. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and taste this one now. For smell, it, it does smell a little bit fishier than the, uh, than the Woolworths one that we had just then. But overall, I really like the taste of this one. There's lots of flavor inside of it. It's a little, it's not that spicy, but it's spicier than the uh, Coles one that we had. And it's much, it's not as mushy and it's still quite easy to eat. I really like the flavor of this one. It's quite unique. It's a little bit saltier than the other ones that we've had. Um, and I reckon I will rate this one probably a nine out of 10. Okay, so next one we're gonna try is the Coles chili tuna. This one has a three and a half health star rating. So it's a little bit healthier than the Wild Tides one, but not as healthy as the Woolworths ones. I'm gonna give this one a mix first. From the sound of it, it does sound like it's got quite a lot of liquid inside of it. So I'm interested to see how much there is because this tuna was only also a dollar. Same price as the Woolworths one. Okay, so from first inspection, the tuna does look quite mushy and it does appear that it's filled with lots of oil. Um, even, even mixing it, um, it doesn't look like the tuna is really absorbing all that oil, which is probably why it's not as a good health star rating. But we do have a whole chili inside of here. So that is better than the Woolworths one. I'm just gonna go ahead and smash this chili up so that it, get, it mixes all around in the chili, in the tuna can. The thing I like about these can designs is that it's got a little lip here. So even if you do spill some oil over the edge, that lip catches it and doesn't stop it from tipping over the entire container onto your hand and making them stinky. So I'm just mixing this one up now. So from smelling this one, it does smell a little bit fishy, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I don't like this one that much because it is dripping with oil, so I'm a bit nervous about eating it. Okay, eating this one, it's really slimy and really liquidy. It's quite easy to eat and doesn't take long to mix. That's what I do like about it. I don't think I can eat this tuna every single day though, like I do with, uh, like I could with some of the other ones. I think I could eat the elephant one almost every single day, but this one I don't really like that much. But I do like it more than the green seas. This tuna's not that. Um, it's quite spicy. It might just because I've eaten some of the other chili tunas, but I'll probably rate the spice as three chilies. So if you go to Nando's, you know how mild zero chilies. You got the hot, which is one chili, and then super hot, which is three chilies. I'd probably give this one a two chili rating. Okay. So I don't like how mushy it is, but it is quite easy to swallow, and it does come with its own chili bean. The only complaint I have about this can of chili tuna is how much liquid is inside of it. But obviously you can drain some of the liquid, so normally I would rate this one maybe a 5 out of 10, but I'm going to give it a 6 because you do have the option of draining that chili 
oil and also it comes with its own full chili bean. Okay, now we're down to the last two. Um, these are the ones I actually eat regularly the most. Um, so we're gonna try with the Serena one first and then we're gonna eat the John West one. So I'm gonna give this one a mix. It does sound that there's a little bit of oil inside of it, but we'll see how we go. I like the smell so far. As you can see, the, the oil, the chili oil was quite similar to the yellowfin Woolworths tuna and it does come with its own bean. Uh, take note of the color of the bean though. It's quite a lot darker compared the, to the rest of the beans This is because this chili bean has been dr sun-dried and you can tell that because it's a lot bumpier and um, It just looks like it's been dried out So I'm gonna go ahead and mix this one now just from first inspection as well the tuna looks like it's all clumped together so it might take a while to mix around. I'm actually wondering if this tuna is yellow, yellowfin tuna as well. So this one's actually taken quite a while to mix up, kind of like the yellowfin Woolworths tuna that we had before. I'm actually wondering if this one is yellowfin tuna too. I'm sure it will say on the back but it's quite hard to read because if I because it's upside down and if I wanted to read it now all of the tuna would tip out onto the table and that would be pretty funny. It would also make quite a lot of mess so I'm not actually going to do that. This Serena tuna was the most expensive out of all of them. It was $2.30 for a can that is 95 grams which is the same as all the other ones. It, so from mixing it I don't think, oh shit. So from mixing this can of chili tuna, I don't think that there is enough oil inside of it for the tuna to be all, for all of the tuna to get wet from the oil. But I did break up the bean, so all of the chili seeds and everything should be absorbed pretty evenly around in this tuna. From the taste, it's a little bit dry. That's because there wasn't enough oil inside of here. But I reckon the taste is probably the best one I've tasted so far. It's not too spicy, but it doesn't lack in flavor. I really like the way when you eat this one. Like it's kind of hard to explain, but when I bite down into this one, it gets stuck on my teeth and it's kind of hard to pull my teeth up and I really like that feeling. After eating this one for a while, I'd say that there's quite a lot of tuna in here. It's pretty good value for money even though it is $2.30. I'd try and go for this one if it's on sale, 100%. Um, and I'd probably rate this one a 9.5. The only thing that would make it a 10 is if they put in more oil so that more of the tuna can be absorbed by it. Okay, so now we're on to our last one, the John West Chili Tuna. And this is the king. This is the one I've been looking forward to. Okay, so from first inspection, the John West one does contain its own full bean of the chili, and it's also already mashed up for us, mushed up for us. Because it's mushed up for us, it's quite easy to eat when you're on the go. Um, whereas the yellowfin tunas and the Serena chili tuna took quite a while to mix up and I had to be careful about mixing it so that it wouldn't spill over the edge. The John West one is very easy to mix up. You should note that the John West one also comes with a 4 health star rating so it's just as healthy as all of the tunas I've had here. Mm. I really like the taste of the John West one. It's quite easy to digest. It's not too spicy, but it also does not lack in any flavor whatsoever. I 
I really like this Jumbo's chili tuna. It's probably my favorite out of all of them, but you probably knew that before watching the video because I eat them almost every single day. I, I'm gonna rate this John West one a 10 out of 10. 10 tuners out of 10 tuners because it's so good. Okay, so that concludes my tuna review for 2019. My favorite ones for 2019 going into the new year are gonna be the John West one and the Serena one, followed by these three here, the Yellowfin, the Wild Tides, and the Woolworths one. And in last place, we have the Green Seas, and just a little bit better than that is the Coles one. I won't be buying the Green Seas one ever again because I thought it tasted bad, but if this Serena one is on sale, I'm definitely picking this one, and I'm always gonna be picking the John West one if it's on sale as well. Just a reminder that this one came in at 2.30 as well, which is the same price as this one. So thanks for watching my review on the tuna. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish these and I'll see you guys next week.